All right, guys. So everybody knows that I drive a truck, but you know, and I've been through, uh, I've been through almost all of the United States, um, either in my personal vehicle or in a semi truck. Uh, just because I've been almost everywhere doesn't mean I realize the exact political views of certain states, such as Michigan and surprisingly New York State. Now, you know, I was taking a look at the political map uh, just a little while ago, and I noticed something. Michigan, it's almost completely blue, or I mean, it's almost completely red, but they're voting blue. I noticed New York State. New York State is very red. Yet it's very blue. Maine, a lot of Maine is red, but it's blue. A lot of Oregon is red, but it's blue. Now, guys, there's a similarity going on between a lot of these Democrat states, and that is they're voting blue, but a lot of the state is actually red. Now, guys, I got a solution to this problem. If you've ever seen John Mark. I don't know if you have. I don't care what your opinion is on him. If you think that he's a coward and his whole thing is uh, was for nothing, they had a they had a decent thing going and then they kind of blew it. But the one thing stands pretty strong out of his message, and that is, we need to separate from these places. These big blue cities in these states that are voting Democrat, they need to go. They need to be, they need to become city states. A city state that governs themselves and they have no say over the rest of their state. They have no say over the rest of the country. Either that or give the big cities Make, make sure that the big cities cannot influence the rest of the state. They can only influence themselves. Is what I'm trying to say. Now guys, I'm pretty sure everyone here knows about how the United States votes. It's the Electoral College. I don't know if y'all realize that much of the rest of the world, they do the popular vote. That's how their elections go down. Now, I'm not saying I'm for a popular vote, and I'm not saying I'm for the Electoral College. If y'all know how the Electoral College goes, like, I mean, I'm not exactly too sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a little something like this, that the majority of the state votes, or the, uh, so like 50% of the state, if or 50 plus 50% or more of the state votes, uh, let's say, Democrat, then that state is going to vote Democrat. And then they, um, depending on the population of that state, they have so many electoral votes. And that's how that state will vote. Now, if, that, if, the, if the candidate wins that one state, by 51%, they're going to get all of that state's electoral votes. Um, in a lot of these states that have big population areas, such as uh, California, it's got um, San Diego, Los Angeles, it's got Sacramento, San Francisco, um, or the whole, uh, I'm just going to say the Bay Area because it's a big area. You know, all those cities have a lot of people. And the majority of those people vote Democrat. Now, uh, places like Oregon, they've got um, Portland, and they've got that whole area, that, that whole area where Portland is votes Democrat. There's a lot of people in that one area. Same thing with Washington State. They've got Seattle, and they've got the surrounding areas of Seattle. They all vote Democrat. So that's how the main, that's how the state votes. But guys, a lot of California, a lot of Oregon, and a lot of Washington state 
are not Democrat. There's a lot of people in these states that are Republican. Their voices really aren't heard because of the major cities in these states. And along with that, um, voting in these states, I mean, yeah, I'm not discouraging you. I'm not discouraging anyone from voting. I'm saying being a Republican in a massive Democrat state such as California, Oregon, and Washington, your vote isn't going to really count a whole lot because these are Democrat strongholds. They are almost a guarantee for the Democrat Party. So your vote isn't going to really be counted too much. I mean, yeah, they're going to count it, but it's not... It's not going to carry a lot of weight, if you know what I mean. Now, guys, I've got a solution. And that solution is to turn these big cities into city-states. They can't influence the rest of the state. They can't influence other cities. And they don't influence the rest of the country. They govern themselves. I know this wasn't really about prepping, but I feel like I really needed to get this out. And get a conversation started and try to throw some solutions out there to help fix the issues that we're got that we've got going on in this country. Hey right, guys, y'all stay safe. Have a good one.